Historically, wealth was acquired through theft, through acquisition and through conquest. How did countries get founded? Machiavelli says all great nations are founded in crime. You found a country by invading some other guy's country, killing the man who's running it and declaring yourself to be the king. And that is how wealth was obtained for thousands of years. But the very idea that you can start with 10 marbles and end up with 15 marbles without stealing somebody else's marbles, that's the American idea. That is a very uh, bold idea that you can, in a sense, create something out of nothing. It's virtually divine. Now, the reason that this went unnoticed for centuries is that the people who create wealth, who are basically the science and technology guy on the one hand, and the entrepreneur or the merchant on the other, these two guys have been hated in virtually all cultures throughout human history. The merchant, the trader, the entrepreneur is a low man on the totem pole. If you look at, for example, Confucius, he says that the, the noble man knows what is virtuous. The low man knows what is profitable. In India, we have the caste system. Who's at the top? The Brahmin, the priest. And next, it's the, the royalty, the, uh, the Kshatriyas, and then down the list you go until one step from the bottom, the hated untouchable, and right above him, the merchant, the trader. Low life scum. The great Muslim thinker Ibn Khaldun in the Middle Ages says that looting is a better way, a more moral way to get wealth than trade. It appeals to the manly virtue of courage. I say all this because I wanted to convey, and by the way, this is true even today. I mean, even if you go to Europe, even now, inherited money is better than earned money. Why? Because inherited money is like manna from heaven, kind of the way Villers got money. Earned money means, from the European point of view, you probably had to run over some guys to get it. So it's looked down upon. Here's what I want to say. You have this totem pole with, if you will, the priest at the top, the merchant at the bottom. What America did, what the founders did, is they flipped it. They created a society that would be devoted to wealth creation through trade and technology and entrepreneurial capitalism. This was always an American idea, but it was always intended to be for the benefit of everybody. The Declaration of Independence does not say all Americans are created equal. It says all men. And so the American recipe was from the beginning intended to be made in America, but intended for global export. 